have breaks during your meetings or training days? I certainly hope so, because it is recommended for every hour of training that sometimes you break it up to 45 minutes to 15 minute, or even if you've reached that one hour, 55 minute time frame, that you have at least a five to 10 minute break. Bio break, whether people need to use the washroom or get a drink of water or just stand up and stretch. But when you're having a break, there's different ways that we can communicate that to our participants. So I'm going to give you a few ideas and give you some tips and ways maybe you can have a shortcut to sharing a timer or some different uh, strategies with that. Thanks for joining us. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Educational Services, and we have a variety of videos here to help with your online engagement, whether it is learning events or meetings and training. Right now, you are seeing the timer that is on my computer. And what is really fantastic, it's also giving the actual time there too. So what I shared there was a timer, a countdown clock for 10 minutes. I'm going to record that whole 10 minute countdown, might edit it with something, and, and then I would have it as a video that I could insert and embed in my PowerPoint. So when I got to a certain point and it was the time for the break that I could just ha have my PowerPoint stay shared and have the, um, the countdown timer going. So sometimes you might have music embedded or in the background, if you've ticked off share computer sound, then you could have some maybe soft music going. Although everybody doesn't have the same taste in music. Music can definitely add some fun to your online learning experience, but a, a fun way also to use music is to have the timer going so people can see the countdown, but you could have come on your mic, you know, one minute warning, two minute warning, or just play the music you know, the last 30 seconds, whatever fits you in your context with your audience, you could play the music as an auditory prompt to bring people back. If you're not playing music through the whole 10 minutes, there's the advantage that maybe people will leave their sound on, um, that they don't turn it off so they can hear and be reminded and prompted in an auditory way. So recording that video, that 10 minute countdown timer that was on my computer is something that I could insert or share. Um, so one of the advantages of having aspects like this already in our PowerPoint slides or slide deck is that we're not having to stop share or start share. Sometimes when I'm producing for someone they're sharing their PowerPoint and then they want me to share the timer or the music or different aspects, but then they're having to reshare their PowerPoint. And sometimes every person's situation and technical abilities differ. And sometimes that is added stress that's unnecessary for the speaker or facilitator. And they would rather just keep sharing their slide deck. So if they have, if you have a video like this embedded in, or I'm going to share next um, some other options of how you can incorporate a timer within your PowerPoint. So here in Canva, we have some different options, countdown timers. So far, I've only found a 30 minute timer, which is fantastic. So if you have a self study and you can have that running live on your share screen, or you can, I have some just 10 second, 20 second, 30 second, um, which is perfect for a live that I want to share that little video clip. You can also create in Canva um, slot sort of with animation with, you can have, I mean, 10 minutes is a long time to have that many slides, but you could be counting down and create it and then have it, uh, downloaded like a video. So you have uh, number after number after number, all these separate slides that you have just set up as a still number. And then you um, just download them all like a video. So that's another option as well. 
I've recorded on, from my computer a timer. I've found some shorter ones, actual video clips in Canva. And I've also created a slide deck. You could even in your PowerPoint um, slide presentation itself, create these as actual slides and put them on a automatically move forward as another way too that you could have that timer now it's really important especially if you are working with people across the country or across the world to also put it in to the chat um, with the time zone now if people are chatting throughout the the break they might lose um, or if people leave which is not always ideal but if they've left and they come back they won't see anything that you put in chat during that break so you can also put it on the screen like a whiteboard annotation you can put the time with the time zone um, of when you're returning but it is really handy to have something that is visually counting down because then people aren't having to to double check what the time zone difference is, um, or they just know, okay, they have a few more minutes to take that break um, or you know, to come back and be refreshed for the rest of the learning experience. I hope these tips are helpful for creating this, your engaging learning experience and dealing with, with breaks and how you can creatively and also in a seamless, effective, efficient way uh, share that when it's time's up for the break. Thanks for tuning in. Please feel free to share this, like this if you liked it, um, and comment if there are other tips we do, that you're interested in videos and tutorials. We do have some great videos coming. There are a little bit more to edit, so um, they'll be coming in following weeks. And, uh, and if you subscribe and hit the bell notification button, then you'll get a um, notification when a new video, new topic has been shared here on the channel. Thanks again. And until next time, I hope you have some light bulb learning moments and that you're able to facilitate engaging experiences for your participants. Thanks again.